Hi, welcome to the Winds of Jupiter love reading. I'll first be doing a tarot love reading and then I'll be doing a Lenormand card love reading. Now I know you're not familiar with the Lenormand cards, so I'll walk you through it. And then after that I'll be doing a Ye Jing reading that's associated to the two previous readings. Now let me explain my tarot love reading and how it works. First of all, I go card by card until I find the Two of Cups or the Lover's card or any court card from your sign. For example, Cups for Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And then I look for the card that's associated to your sign too, such as Virgo for Hermit and Cancer for Chariot. And I put it up here and then it depicts the overall feeling of the reading. It's overseeing the reading. Now I'm doing my Know Thyself or Know Yourself reading. I gave it this moniker so it's easy to remember. But the main cards are what you know, what is or can be yours, and self or self-awareness, and then the future card. Now each card has a clarification card along with it. And I'm using the Hanson Roberts deck and now on with the reading. Hi there Libra. I decided to mix things up and do a love reading for June. Those in the Northern Hemisphere are looking forward to summer and things to sprout and grow. And those in the Southern Hemisphere are turning on the heat and cuddling up. And I thought this was an opportune time to do a love reading. Now for your spread I was looking for the Justice card, any sword court card, or the Two of Cups, or Lovers. And I came across the Two of Cups. It was kind of funny because sometimes I had to look through almost half a deck before I came across the first card I was looking for. And then others, it was right there on top. And for you, it was the second card, the Two of Cups. It's a card of partnership, decisions, and balance. And you being Libra, looking for an equilibrium on the scales. This is an excellent card for you. But this is the mini Arcana card. And here on the left, for what you know, you received the Lover's card. It's kind of funny, some signs rarely or barely got a card that even indicated love, but it was a love reading, even though. And then some signs, of three, three some signs, I think it was, ended up with the Two of Cups and the Lover's card, which is kind of strange. I guess the Cosmos got the memo that I was doing some love readings here. And it's not for the fault of not shuffling adequately. The cards are what they are. You can't make up this stuff. And the messages are so unique, you, you can't make up this stuff. So now you've got a higher octave of a love feeling with the Two of Cups and the Lover's card together. This is kind of a diverse meaning of basic human impulses. Sex, pleasure, desire, love, and even curiosity. Both cards are about making good decisions. Decisions of virtue over vice. Putting a governor on your emotional impulses. And since you're air, it's, it really is about the duality of air and communication. It's reminding you to have good communication for a good relationship. And we're talking about a variety of different relationships. It could be a romance. It can be just a companionship. Or it can be between family and friends. But what you're looking for is deeper emotional bonds and more harmonious relationships. And sometimes these cards can also be healing in the respects that it's putting up the white flag and having a truce and burying the hatchet. So no longer is there any conflict. Now the Knight of Pentacles is telling you to slow down. He's the slowest knight in the court. He just kind of trots along and accumulates things as he goes. 
He's more involved in responsibilities than he is of the stardom of knighthood. He's just looking for an ends to a means. He's reminding you to evaluate your love situations. And don't make any rash decisions. Because both those lovers cards means decisions. You should really think heavily on your next step and where you're going in life and what will make you happy. And I don't think all of your decisions have made you happy in the past because the center cards for what can be or is yours. The so Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Now some people put a positive spin on the Four of Cups, but I see it more as contemplation and you've had too much of something. And it's no longer a treat anymore. The cup may be offering an opportunity, but you don't want it right now. You kind of feel like your emotions have been congested and blocked. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that way because the clarification card is the Ace of Cups. It's offering you a new emotional love beginning. But you have to remember that it's just a seed. And you're the one that has to nurture it and let it grow. This is swinging the door open for potential happiness and blessings. Passion. Amenity. Well-being. And this card can also bring intuition and insights that open your eyes for some deeper understanding, purpose, and aspirations in your life for love and sometimes even career. But there's been some storm clouds over the horizon because over on yourself and self-awareness, you see the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. It's fraught with tension. Someone is stealing from you or sneaking off with something of yours. I think that you realize that this is happening. You wouldn't get the Seven and then graduate to the Eight of Swords without not knowing. There's been some kind of manipulation by other people or maybe some deception to yourself that you're not coming to terms with certain things. I'm not sure who's victimizing who, but it's happening and there's been some unethical behavior going on and maybe even some bitter quarreling. And now you feel trapped. The Eight of Swords says that you're trammeled. But in a funny way, you could always release yourself, but you have chose not to. You feel like you're racing around in some kind of labyrinth. You're feeling shell-shocked, incapacitated, restrained, and blindfolded to the extent that you're not looking at the glaring truth, the truth of darkness, because the future card on the right is the moon. Things aren't what they appear to be. And this could just be your fertile imagination with some feral emotions coming out about your past memories and your present confusion. But the path is deceptively different at night than it is during the day. This is a sleepy, dreamy time kind of card that finds you stumbling around on some kind of self-journey. I don't know, maybe your fear is unfounded, but the darkness instills fear. The, the subtle reflective light of the moon can instinctively bring out the animal nature of you. And man has to overcome that in himself, especially when it comes to emotions and love. Now the clarification card is the Ace of Wands. This is an inspirational, creative, new beginning. And you've got the Ace of Cups there too. It's saying, yeah, you have the opportunity for a new beginning. What are you going to do about it? And I pulled another clarification card for the future. And you receive death. There you go. What you're going to do about it is you're going to go through a transformation. You didn't really decide to transform. It's more like the cosmos mandated it. It's predestined to happen. Once death gets a hold of you, you can't change it. There could be 
claw marks on the door, and the unwilling are still changed. You may not have wanted to change because of the Four of Cups and the Eight of Swords, and you've been stealing your own emotions and draining yourself with the Seven of Swords. But now you're in this pleasant transformation to go forward in the future for new things. And let's see what the Lenormand cards say. I put out a sample spread of the Lenormand cards so you can see what they look like. Now the tarot deck has 78 cards in it and the Lenormand decks have between 36 and 39. Now I'm using Under the Roses deck and that has 39 in it. I'll be laying out 18 cards, 9 on the top and 9 on the bottom. And every card has a word translation and then I'll be putting it together to make a sentence. And I'll show you all of the translations as subtitles. And then I'll read you the sentences and after that I'll put the sentences on slides so you can read them yourself. Now let me explain the difference between the tarot cards and the Lenormand cards. The tarot cards are your response to a certain situation and it's more emotional and psychological. Where the Lenormand cards give you real-time action of what is happening. The tarot cards are about emotion and the Lenormand cards are dispassionate and it goes on from subjective to objective, verbs to nouns, psychological to physical, feeling to seeing, participant to spectator. The tarot cards will tell you why your husband left you because he had mother issues. The Lenormand cards will tell a woman why her husband is at home because he's at the bar having a few beers. And a lot of times these Lenormand cards can put things into a sequence of time. Not all the time, but sometimes. So let's see what comes up in your reading. Okay, I laid out your 18 cards for your Lenormand love reading and I translated every card into a word and then made two sentences out of it. When you hear man or woman, it's just as the tarot court cards, it can be either gender. Now the first sentence makes some inferences about a new beginning and I think that's the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. And it also mentions problems and I think that's the Seven and Eight of Swords and something being shadowy, which is pointing to the moon. Now in the second sentence, it brings in something about love and companionship, which could be the Two of Cups and the Lover's card. And it talks about renewal, and that can be the Death or the Aces. Now I'm going to read the two sentences to you, and after that I'll have them on slides so you can read them yourself. Now I'm going to put up the subtitles and you can stop the tape and study them or you can follow along as I'm reading the sentences. Here goes, man's sexual new beginning brings problems and legacy from a shadowy journey of overwhelming discoveries. Insight, kindness and love brings renewal and spiritual companionship for harmonious beginnings and love. And after the slides, there'll be a Ye Jing reading, and I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.